Welcome to today's episode of Life is Dataful. I'm Magda Stefanski, Industry Content Lead. Today we're talking about electric vehicles and the implications of advancements in battery technology. According to our consumer research, the Digital Life Index, cost is the biggest turnoff for potential electric vehicle buyers. Only with government buyer subsidies can EVs compete with the price of vehicles powered by gas or diesel. While governments are increasing restrictive regulations on carbon emissions to spur production and distribution of EVs, the rate of change and adoption has been slow. In the US, EVs make, about, make up about 2% of new car sales, while Europe sees a market share closer to 5%. While sales are growing, EVs remain just a fraction of the global car market. Let's look at why, starting with the car itself. The most expensive part of an electric car is the battery. More efficient and energy dense batteries equal a more affordable EV. Industry experts expected a cheaper battery in 2025, finally cheap enough for EVs to go mainstream. But just the other week, Tesla's Elon Musk announced a new battery on the horizon way ahead of expectations. More powerful, longer lasting, and half as expensive. In addition to cost, range anxiety is close behind as a top barrier to purchase. And close on Tesla's heels for the first time is GM, committing to an all electric future. The price of batteries has now dropped 80% since 2008, and the race is on to push the cost of battery packs below $100 per kilowatt hour. This unexpected development in battery innovation has driven speculation that the first automaker to achieve, achieve price parity between traditional vehicles and EVs will come to dominate the market. We're starting to see the craze already with US pre-orders of Volkswagen's ID4 first edition already sold out. However, our industry expert Alyssa Altman believes that it's not necessarily the first automaker to create the $25,000 vehicle that will dominate. The real winner will be the automaker who has the ability to own the full ecosystem. Here are steps automakers can take towards owning the full ecosystem. First of all, they can take on the first buyer take on the full buyer journey by moving more services online, integrating physical and digital channels, and going direct to consumer. And all of these efforts have to be underpinned with a single data platform. Secondly, they can develop tools and resources to educate and reduce complexity for consumers interested in making the switch. And third of all, they can work with energy utilities and third parties to create anxiety-free charging experiences at home and in public. For related content, check out the comments. Thanks for joining this week's episode of Life is Dataful. See you next time.